Hi, my name is John Lewis and welcome to Getting Started with XML Notepad 2007. First, I want to give you a little info on XML Notepad before we get started and some of its key features. XML Notepad is an open source XML editor written by Chris Lovett and published by Microsoft. The editor features incremental search in both tree and text views, drag slash drop support, IntelliSense, find slash replace with regular expressions and XPath expressions and support for X include. The editor has good performance on large XML documents and has real-time XML schema validation. The editor also features an HTML viewer for displaying XSLT transformation results and a built-in XML comparison tool. Now let's discuss where to find XML Notepad 2007. The version I will be using today is XML Notepad 2007. XML Notepad 2007 can be found by entering xmlnotepad.codeflex.com within your web browser. After the site is loaded on the home page, there will be a clickable link labeled Downloadable Installer. After the page is loaded, it will bring you to where the XML Notepad 2007 is located. Click the link and your download should begin. Once your download is finished, follow the installation steps as follows to run the program. And since I've already installed it, I'm just going to run the repair mode. Aside from XML Notepad 2007 being free, it's easy to use and its interface makes things go quickly and smoothly. Now that you've downloaded XML Notepad 2007, I will go into some of the features in which the program has to access. I'll start out with a still image of the interface of XML Notepad 2007 in order to give you a more clear understanding of what I'm trying to explain. Here's a still image. Starting with the menu bar, you can find tabs such as File, Edit, View, Insert, Window, and Help. All the menu bars tabs help you effectively navigate through your XML document. Next is your toolbar, which is pretty simple and straightforward with the options to create a document along with opening and saving existing ones. Next we have the render XSL transform results. Here you see your XML document in code form, allowing you to physically edit and update the existing XML code within the section titled Node Text. Node names are located within the tree view on the left hand side and can be changed directly from within the tree view as well as within your code. An added feature that is helpful in the, is the IntelliSense which is a drop down feature that allows you to instantly embed nodes within files unlike previous versions of XML Notepad. Another feature within XML Notepad 2007 that I found pretty interesting was the infinite undo button. The undo button allows you to backtrack to the beginning of the document which is helpful when an unwanted error message appears. Now, I wanted to show you a little demonstration from the program itself.
Alright. As you can see here, I will be opening an XML document that is not properly formatted. Everything is all jumbled up and not easily read readable by uh, any XML editor or anybody that's not unfamiliar with it at all. It's kind of hard to distinguish and see which parts go where. But after selecting your design designated XML document with an XML notepad 2007, your file will be correctly organized by class and color. As shown here. Now that once I open this file with an XML notepad, um, saved as the file name test, You now see the code properly formatted and color coded as so. So in comparison to the notepad view, you can see there's a big difference. Well, that's all the time we have today. I hope this episode was able to give you some valuable information using XML Notepad 2007. But if you're still seeking additional help, go to XML Notepad website for additional assistance.